So welcome to the second weekly update video of the season while we do what a normal human should not do and look and and, uh, and look directly at the sign but it is now time to begin my second weekly it is now time to begin my second weekly update video of the 2014 Pacific, no, not 2014, rather, the 2015 season. So far, J J GFS has not really pushed the time frame up on the system that I first talked about in the last week's video. The, the, the GFS was showing 16 days out, even though the ensembles have a little bit. They pretty much got from showing this from day 16, day 11. In a span of seven days, which I don't think is significant enough, and I still think the system may be a little bit phantom. However, the time I like the timing of this, and the fact that GFS, and the fact that the European is now starting to show a convexly coupled Kelvin wave over the East Pacific that w during the period May 5th to May 12th. So during that passage of a convectively coupled Kelvin wave, and about one two, day, two days later, is like the prime zone for, for tropical cyclone formation and intensification. So I expect the system to form around May 10th, maybe a little bit later. In addition, the GFS is forecasting a moderate MGO pulse across the region. However, it's been is experiencing some difficulties forecasting this. And while it isn't complete, and while its scenario the MGO isn't completely different from other computer models, it does. It is more. Oh, what, what was I going to say? This happens to me all the time. Well, this, this isn't completely different from other computer models. It is a little bit off on its island. And the fact that it brings the MJ pulse stronger than most. And it brings it through. And it doesn't really bring it through the West Pacific much. The recently models have trended towards the West Pacific a little bit. And rather tries to keep in phase. E, 1, and 2 within the next two weeks. Now it favor the Atlantic a little bit more. But not the East Pacific. However, let's, let's think a little bit beyond the models a little bit. You know, I do think they're good enough that something's imminent or GFS and the CMC and the European will certainly sniff it out. Let's think a little bit beyond the models right now. The Pacific High is where it wants to be. It's where exactly it needs to be. If anything is a little bit too far south and a little bit stronger than normal, that would allow on the southeast end because of the Kaloas effect and because of the fact in the northern hemisphere air cool air cool cool sinking air called anti-cyclonic aloft moves clockwise and the fact that rows move counterclockwise in the one hemisphere and all that conversions begins to pile up and with the repelling winds creates creates a favorable environment aloft and that can, and that can allow, with them, allow for the sending tropical cyclones In addition, the intropic burn zone is looking a little bit northward, but not as much as I'd like. However, if there's just one thing that models can agree on, I think it's the timing of the intropic burn zone. And all models move it significantly northward within the next week or so. Even the CFS is also pretty bullish, with it showing. Some tropical cycl uh, prospect with a hinting at prospect tropical cyclone off the in about three to four weeks. 
where um in three to four weeks around 120 west we are usually far west for this time of year furthermore the J JFS and the lesser extent CMC ensembles are also hinting at a tropical cyclone forming around day 10, as I sort of mentioned earlier. Even then, technically, the, the main version of GFS has kind of dropped the system for the most, dropped Andres, for the most part, it's still, there's still mixed supporting ensembles, so I'm of the belief that the system is not completely dead yet. And definitely still something to keep an eye on. But, it's more of a, it's somewhat of a way and see game. I mean, it's showing storms. It's, it's definitely something. And it's an indication that the switch is about to turn on. So as I said in last week's weekly update video, enjoy this last minute period, pre-season period of inactivity while it lasts. Because things are going to go down the to Things are going to be escalating very quickly. And that will do this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Bye!